As far as national politics are concerned, Alabama is a red or Republican state, but that's not always been the case. Some of Alabama's most prominent politicians used to be members of the Democratic Party. Now the Democrats are trying to make a comeback. Nick Rose is here from the Tuscaloosa County Democrats to tell me Hi. more. Nick, it's good to see you again. Thank you so much, Danny. Glad to be here. Now, is it frustrating for you as, as you watch the national political landscape and, and we see the Democrats making inroads across all demographics? And the Republicans nationally seem to be trying to figure out a way to appeal to Hispanics and to gay people and to people that are beyond uh, Bible-thumping evangelicals. Right. They're trying to be a little bit more progressive. But in our state, that doesn't seem to be necessary, does it? Well, I think the most frustrating thing for myself and most Democrats in this area is the fact that the majority of our local elected officials were elected as Democrats. Uh, you can see that with our tax assessor, Dawson McMullen, who switched parties in 2006. Our tax collector, Peyton Cochran, who switched parties in 2012. Bobby Miller, County Commissioner, District 3, switched in 2012. Our sheriff, Ted Section, previous sheriff, switched parties in 2012. Even State Representative John Merrill ran as a Democrat in 2002, was defeated by Gerald Allen at the time, and uh, has uh, since switched parties. So, when you look at who our elected officials are, they're elected as Democrats. Peyton Cochran was elected and Bobby Miller, or Cochran in 2006 and Miller in 2008 as Democrats. Ted Sexton was re-elected in 2010 as a Democrat. So it seems, you know, if I, it seems frustrating to me that that is the trend now, is switching parties. These people weren't elected as Republicans. <clears throat> I see. So now, what do you guys do? How do you rally the troops? How do you bring your party back to prominence in our state? Well, the realization is, is there are tens of thousands of people in Alabama who are uh, new to politics, who are new to being able to vote in regards to age of voting, people who've never been tapped into before in different parts of the state and different parts of this county. And our effort's going to be to seek out those voters, get them registered, get them educated about the issues that Democrats stand for. Democrats stand for fixing the education system of Alabama in a way that's different than the Republicans have approached it by unorthodox passing of bills that do nothing but put money into the pockets of private schools. Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, work on our economy, continue to bring quality jobs in Alabama, We've seen that uh, with our local leadership, Democrat Hardy McCollum, working hard for many years bringing uh, jobs into the county. So we're going to continue to focus on those issues that are important to Democratic voters. Now you guys have a, a new HQ that you've put together. And we you do. And have a little something and, and invite the folks at home out to, to have a little something to eat and drink and, and maybe talk some politics, right? We are. Uh, our headquarters is going to open on Greensboro Boulevard, or Greensboro Avenue rather. Uh, right there next to the Jemison Mansion, which was our previous headquarters. This is a facility that allows us to have a year-round headquarters, be open all the time, not have to move. People know exactly where we're at. We can have our meetings there. We can have events there. We can have a central location where people in Tuscaloosa County know that there are Democrats. You can come if you want to be involved, and the Democratic presence is strong in Tuscaloosa County. We are representing that, and we're not going away, and we're going to work hard going into the 2014 elections. All right, super. Nick, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, Danny. You can join the Tuscaloosa County Democrats for their cookout and headquarters opening on Saturday, August 17th at 11 a.m. It's happening at 1217 Greensboro Avenue. You can find out more by calling 205-534-2671. Back to school.